So the market's open. Um, futures market opens up at 6 o'clock on Sundays on the East Coast. Um, but one thing that I never mentioned before is how much it's costing me to get in these positions. So I just wanted to show you that last trade that I made on gold where I made $400. I'm going to see if I can this around. So this was a screenshot from when I was in my trade. But you can see I had four contracts and two where's the price okay the total cost of having that was one thousand nine hundred dollars so i made four hundred and twenty dollars by using this one thousand nine hundred and eighty bucks so futures is pretty cheap um to do stocks you have to invest twenty five thousand dollars just in an account and then usually it costs a lot more to have a position like like Amazon. I'm not sure exactly what it's at right now, but the last time I checked it, which was a long time ago, it was at like 1,800, I believe. I really don't know. But to, to have just one share, you would need $1,800. If you wanted to really get a big move, you'd have to invest more shares, which would easily cost, I mean, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 just for one position. So futures is cheaper e-mini futures is even cheaper and then there's also the alternative forex which i believe is even cheaper than both of those i haven't done a whole lot of forex but futures is fairly cheap so to sum all that up the position i was in for gold cost me almost two grand um and then how it works exactly is i invest that two grand and then I hold my position and I'm ready to get out. I get that two grand back plus the profit or the loss, minus the loss, if it was a losing trade. So if that helps, maybe on my next trade, I'll explain that more in detail. How much it costs me to get into this trade. And then that I'm going to get that money back when I get out of the trade, just plus or minus what my profit or loss is when I get out. That sounded a little complicated.